Greetings, all beloveds out there. This is Freya and Joy. And as we have now collectively on Earth, energies, especially this week, who is coming up, the whole humanity have this co collectively coming up. And it is about the victim energy in all of us. So, when you, if you already are aware of this or if you're not, this is the time to be extra aware of the trans transcendence of this victim energy. Because it's a trap. And now is the time collectively for the humanity to stake, take a big step forward. So what is good to do is to capture the center of silence within you and value what you see and hear instead of taking a stand for or against. So here is some of the important things in this what is to call a victim rescuer persecutor tri triangle in this triangle it's a drama going on and it goes on and on and on and uh, what is needed and it is needed now to jump out of this victim rescuer persecutor triangle and go into a healthy one i'm going to talk more about what the other triangle is about shortly this uh, victim rescuer persecutor triangle it's a model and it explains specific specific uh, specifics of codependent, destructive interaction patterns which negatively impact team dynamics. And, of course, we can put any other word instead of team dynamics because it's about human relationships. Uh, utterly, it's all about human relationships. And we have actually r human relationships wherever we go, wherever we go. And each position in this triangle has unique, readily identifiable. Uh, you can identify those characteristics, characters who are in this triangle. So... As a person becomes entangled in any of these positions in this triangle, they literally keep spinning from one position to the next. And this is constantly destroying the opportunity for healthy relationships and for productive team dynamics. And the good news is that once a team or relationship becomes aware of these positions and choose to break this cycle, they can transcend this triangle. And that's what I'm going to talk more about later. So the victim is the, 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 the person, the uh, actor uh, that is identifying him or her self with to be poor me, the poor one. Uh, so here is some of the, how you can identify when you're in that, if you are in that. You feel victimized, oppressed, helpless, hopeless, powerless and ashamed. Next, you look for a rescuer that will perpetuate these negative feelings you have. Uh, and
And if you stay in this victim position, you will block yourself from making decisions, solving problems, pleasure and self-understanding. You will block yourself from this. In this triangle, the next character is the rescuer. The rescuer comes in to help the one who feels a victim. That she or he who acts like a rescuer is the one who feels that she or he should be the one who let me help you. I'm going to help you. So the rescuer rescues. When uh, really don't want to, when she or he really don't want to. The rescuer feels guilty if she or he doesn't rescue. And the rescuer keeps victim dependent. And the rescuer gives permission to fail. And the rescuer expects to fall in rescue attempt and as this is a triangle and this different uh, um, identifications is it's it's an uh, ongoing circle so the personalities just go around and around so the next uh, the next personification is persecutor and uh, interestingly enough Victim goes to rescuer and re rescuer gets to be a persecutor. And the persecutor has the idea that it's all your fault. So the persecutor blames, criticizes, keeps victim oppressed. The press persecutor key, uh, sets strict limits unnecessarily and the persecutor is mobilized by anger the persecutor is rigid authoritative stance it's a, an authoritative um, personality in that situation and the persecutor is, is like a critical parent. You can break the cycle. Uh, of course, it's possible to break this cycle. It begins with that you are getting aware of this. Uh, what it is and where you are in it yourself and when you are aware of that you can break the cycle uh, so you you simply become aware of and understand these patterns uh, it's good uh, as a first step so this is a drama that is playing out and you can choose to change this drama and break free and to step off this triangle. But however, understanding also means that to know that most executives really do not want to know about their drama triangle, nor do they want to change. It makes it difficult to avoid getting caught up in their individual and if they are in a team. Uh, so the unconscious aspect of the drama often results in few uh, executives being willing or committed to make the effort and taking the actions required to actually change their circumstances. So this is 
about relationships. But this is about all kind of relationships. And when it comes to society and, and working places and team, team, teams that works. And we have team working on the most working places. This is a time now where this is coming up. And when you know that, it's easier for you to take a positive stand for yourself and break free from this cycle. And when you see other people not doing this, you can stand in your inner stillness and don't judge other people because it will not benefit you. Instead, you discern what you see. You see what you see, it is what it is. What you can do is to change your own perception, your own way of acting, your own way of seeing and understanding. So this is, of course, a very, very brief uh, video about this but I will do more videos about this at least one more so how do you get out of this triangle there is uh, some things that you can think of you, one thing you need to do is to change uh, your own what you perceive what you see what you are experiencing from being the external to look inside of yourself if you only look outside it's un it's going to be unhealthy and dangerous patterns you see so when you go inside you give yourself the approval, the answers, the solutions, the love, the identity and the happiness that is you, that you can achieve, that you can have. You have all this inside of you. This is the big turnabout. Change from looking at the outside at the unhealthy and dangerous patterns you see around you and go inside yourself and change there. You can ask yourself some questions. One question is, am I consciously acting out of choice and giving freely? Or are my actions designed to change, control or get something from others? You can also ask yourself, what is my motivation for acting the way I do? Or, and, and, you can ask yourself, do I give and do things freely or do I do this uh, by my own free will? Or do I do this because I have expectations of what I should receive back if I do this? These kind of questions is to make yourself conscious of your own thoughts, thoughts patterns. Because I have other videos on, in my YouTube channel about to be aware of what kind of belief systems you live in. What is your belief systems? Beliefs, belief systems is a kind of thought systems. Uh, your family, the society, everything around you have uh, given you different kind of belief systems. So it's very important to have the right questions to ask yourself to get out of this triangle. So, uh, to break free from this triangle, you actually need 
to improve and change your attitude, your attitude towards change, your own change, your attitude about having control, your attitude about what is risk, and absolutely and not last or least, your attitude about what is true responsibility. You have to need, <laughs> you need to have uh, and make inner peace with yourself and welcome this change. And you need to begin to reframe your perspective so you can see life as a big adventure instead of as a prison. So you need to have courage to be brave and give yourself permit to be a human being that is on a path a perfectly imperfect can be a good way to describe it. But I will say that you're born perfect. So just let's come back to your own perfection because you were born perfect. The layers that society and your family laid on you were all belief systems. And that's what made you imperfect in my eyes. But still, it is perfect that too in my eyes. Because this is the, the path you came to earth to walk. One other one other very important uh, step to go out of this uh, vicious uh, cycle victim triangle is that you take complete responsibility for everything you attract and, ex and experience in, in your life. Because the moment you do that, you can't uh, say that it's someone else's fault that things happening in your life. And here is a suggestion to create your own new triangle. And I would rather call this a circle. In this circle, you have three roles. One is the creator. Start to be your own creator of your life. Because you are the creator of your life. Instead of being a victim. When you are the creator of your life. You take responsibility for every experience. And everything that uh, you encounter in your life. And. Instead of being the persecutor. Be your own challenger. Focus on learning and growing and hold your own inner creator accountable when you are encouraging yourself to learn to do by your own new actions and take the next step. As a challenger, you can consciously build up yourself. And others too. It is a positive way to show love. And it is a good way to go forward in your life. And uh, be a coach. Be a coach instead of helping and re rescuing others and, and rescuing yourself. Be a coach instead. It's positive. 
as a coach, you use, you use compassion to yourself and other people. And you use your creator to develop a vision and an action plan. And you put in what is healthy in this plan. As a coach, you can provide encouragement and support to yourself and others. Instead of rescuing actions. So the role of a coach is the alternative to the drama where it has to be someone who comes and rescue yourself uh, or others. Today, I will stop this video with this information. And in my next video, I will give you some very simple and easy steps you can take to stop yourself from uh, being in this unhealthy victim triangle. Thank you for listening today. Have a nice day. Blessings and much love from me, Freya. Enjoy. Go! This video was made and produced by FreyaEnjoy.com and as always if you like our content you are welcome to subscribe and click on the bell so you get notifications when new important content will come out. And if you are craving more of our content, you'll find it in the list in YouTube channel Freya Enjoy Official Living Enlightenment.